Hello, I'm Atuba George. Now, we've been talking about all week, we've been talking about assessing the thoughts of God. No, that's actually assessing the knowledge of God. See, now, God said in Isaiah chapter 55, it says, the, the wicked man, verse 7, it says, let the wicked forsake his ways and the unrighteous man his thoughts. See, listen. When he says, the wicked his ways and the unrighteous man his thoughts, don't start thinking, oh, he's talking about that bad fellow, you know, that's that wicked boss or that, that arm robber guy. Oh, no, no, no. Every thought that is not in line with God's thoughts is a wicked thought. You know why? Because those thoughts causes your heart to be wicked. Now, to be wicked doesn't necessarily mean to carry your knife, go look for somebody to fight and stab somebody and do all those kind of evil things. Listen, you, you know, sometimes people don't realize this, that your way of thinking, you may look harmless, but your way of thinking can cause someone else to take up knife and attack another person. See, just by the way you think and by the things you say. You understand what I'm talking about? You know, for example, there are, there are uh, what do you call them now, uh, marriage counselors or, or marriage teachers who have destroyed homes, see, but they, they were thinking, they were trying to, uh, you know, like they say, oh, women, liberation, you know, a woman is equal to the man and, and, and things like that. Now, you've got to be careful when you talk about those things. If you are not expressly teaching the thoughts of God concerning it, your thoughts are wicked. See? And, and you say, but, but no, I, I never told anybody to leave a husband. No, I never told anybody to leave my... But your thoughts, see, your words, which came from your thoughts, caused that to happen. Because your thoughts didn't line up with God's truth. You understand what I'm talking about? You know, as a child of God, everything you want to venture into, the first assignment you must give yourself is to sit down and look at what does God think concerning this issue. You want to get married? Listen, sit down with the Lord and say, Lord, you know sometimes people, people don't even know how to study scriptures. You don't just carry the Bible and, and, and you start studying. There are lots of people who teach the Bible and they are teaching nonsense. I, I, I listen to some, you know, sometimes. You see, because they, they don't know Jesus. They know the scriptures, but they don't know Jesus. And if you don't know Jesus, you can never accurately interpret the scriptures. You understand what I'm saying? You will get things messed up. You will get confused. When you find people trying to prove from here to here, from here to here, from here to here, most times they get into those errors. Because the truth is they don't even understand what they are talking about. So what's the best thing to do? Go to the speaker. It's as simple as that. The speaker is not deaf. The Lord Jesus Christ is not dumb. Praise God. He hears and he speaks. And guess what? He is alive now, today. Isn't it not amazing? You know, you don't think about it sometimes. Jesus ascended physically. They saw him go up into heaven. Do you know what that means? It means any day, oh, bless God for this truth, any day at his will, if he chooses to, he can just show up to your house. <laughs> you know that. Now, I'm saying that to tell you, he's not dead like Shakespeare. No, that you read his book and then you go, okay, this must be what he's saying. No, this one, Jesus Christ, if you don't understand what he's saying, you say, Lord, what, I want to know, why did you say this here? What, what do you mean by this? And he hears, so he will hear you. He speaks, so he can speak to you. Praise God. So, whatever you want to do, go before the Lord and say, Lord, I want to get married. But first of all, Lord, I want to know what you think concerning marriage. I want to understand your thoughts. See? And you, you stay before the Lord. Never be in a hurry. When you go before the Lord to learn something, never be in a hurry. See? Never. Because it cannot happen at your own pace. Don't tell the Lord, we fixed our marriage for next week. 
So I'm coming to you now. Teach me everything I need to know about marriage. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I, let me tell you this truth about the Lord. He doesn't just teach you. He impacts knowledge into your spirit. See, when the Spirit of God is talking to you, He's not just telling you something in your ears. He's, he's empowering you. See, so whatever He's telling you, the ability to know and become that thing just comes on you. See, that's why He is different from a man teaching you. You need to understand this. So you go before the Lord and you go, you go before Him fasting. You know, I, I asked this question many times, you know, to, to God's children. I said, look, how many of you have taken it up a fast because of one verse of scripture you read that you did not understand? So you go before the Lord and say, Lord, I have a question to ask you. And I am not eating today. I am not going anywhere today. I just want to spend time to, to get an understanding of this. Thing. That's what Daniel did. He found a scripture in Jeremiah. And then he, he, he read it and he said, no, no, no. Let me go before the Lord. He went before the Lord. And guess what? He waited for that answer for 21 days. 21 days. Can you do that? Now that, that's why Daniel is so wise. So much so that his wisdom was compared to that of Lucifer. Praise God. Because that's what Daniel used to do. All the fastings Daniel fasted. It's not because he wanted something, you know, wanted power from God. Or he, no, no, no. He fasted because he wanted to understand the mind of God concerning something. When you start living your life like that, you will see the kind of power and wisdom you're going to walk in. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I, I pray the Spirit of God will open up his knowledge to you. And I pray you find in yourself the ability to turn from every wicked thought and ways that you've been walking in and, and that you will find rest with the Spirit of God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Until tomorrow, God bless you. Bye-bye.